Exclusive Contract from Felu Novel Network Novel Special Forces Fan Tianlei drops in seconds at the beginning, the assassin travels through the world of special forces, integrate systems, and as long as they learn asterisk asterisk, they will become stronger. I am already tired of the life of fighting and killing in my past life, and I just want to enjoy life shamelessly with my sister. By an accident, the identity of Master Lu Ming was unexpectedly exposed. From then on, Lu Ming's dream of becoming a salted fish was shattered, and he wandered aimlessly towards the path of becoming a star. Fan Tian Lei It's too scary, no one can stop Lu Ming's punch. Lei Zhan Lu Ming uses real killing techniques, and his move is to determine life and death. Western Powerhouse Is Lu Ming here? The devil is willing to be his opponent, he is even more ferocious than the devil. He Cheng Wang Lu Ming's skills are already so impressive. Why is his marksmanship so good that it doesn't make people live? Lu Ming. I'm already strong enough, can you stop making me stronger? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1. Genius Identity Exposed, New Book for Collection. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. De Xiaogua, Donghai University. Bang Bang. Fan Tianlei pushed the door open and said, Hello Principal, I am Fan Tianlei, Chief of Staff of the Special Operations Brigade of the Southeast Military Region. The Principal quickly stood up and said, Hello, may I ask if you have anything to do? Fan Tianlei urgently said, Is Lu Ming a student here? The principal suddenly realized, you also watched a video of Lu Ming defeating Master Tai Chi, so you came here. Is there anyone else coming? Fan Tianlei asked curiously. The principal smiled bitterly and said, there are too many people looking for him in just these two days. More than ten groups of people have come to him, all of whom want to compete in martial arts. My university is almost turning into a martial arts arena. Fan Tianlei's eyes lit up and he said, Great, I thought the video was fake. But now it seems like he's really a master. Principal, the army is recruiting various talents now. Fighting masters like him are the most suitable for the army. So, Principal, look. The principal nodded and said, I understand what you mean, but I already asked Lu Ming yesterday. He wants to stay and continue pursuing his master's degree. His grades are very good, and we are planning to recommend him to pursue his master's degree this year. Fan Tianlei became anxious and said, Comrade Principal, he is one of many people in society. But if he comes to the army, he will definitely have great potential. The principal smiled bitterly and said, but we must respect his ideas. Suddenly, a female teacher rushed in and said, Principal, it's not good anymore. There are many people coming to trouble Lu Ming again, they have already hit us. The principal angrily slapped the table and said, No law, this is the school. It's not their turn to mess around. Call security, report to the police. Fan Tianlei stood up at this moment and said, Principal, don't worry for now, let me go take a look. This the principal is in some difficulty. Fan Tianlei smiled faintly and said, I want to see his true strength. If it doesn't work, I'll take action to stop him. But for this person, I won't waste my time either. The principal thought for a moment and finally nodded in agreement. People in the special forces should have a high vision, believing that Fan Tianlei would give up on Lu Ming. Lu Ming is such a good student. The principal doesn't want to let anyone go. Come with me. The principal led and led Fan Tianlei towards the dormitory building. At the same time, Lu Ming was very troubled by more than a dozen people who came to provoke him. Three days ago, he passed by a martial arts arena and saw the scene of the fight, which was quite amusing. He laughed on the spot. As a result, he was questioned by a person named Master Ma. He casually punched him, but unexpectedly knocked him down. Who would have thought he was so ungrateful, 
what a bullshit master. He is not a person from this world. He crossed over by chance three years ago. In his previous life, Lu Ming was a killer who ultimately died in an assassination attempt and then traveled across this parallel world. Although this parallel world is completely different from the Dragon Kingdom on Earth, there are no strong countries as remembered. Fortunately, he has obtained a system where learning can make him stronger. The only requirement given to him by the system is to comply with legal and moral requirements, crack down on illegal activities, and not let the military go into trouble. But he had no intention of continuing to rely on force to make a living. He was tired of fighting and killing in his previous life. In this life, since learning can make him stronger, he just wants to be a salted fish quietly. Isn't it enjoyable to be a business tycoon and count money every day? Why sacrifice one's life to enjoy life while lying down? Lu Ming's intestines are about to turn blue now. If he could start over, he would definitely not watch the excitement and would not reveal his identity now. Hey, are you fighting or not? A middle dot aged man pointed at Lu Ming and shouted loudly. Lu Ming frowned slightly and said, I'll say it again, get out of here immediately. Don't make me angry, I don't want to hit anyone today. The eyes of all the people who came to challenge were filled with flames. They didn't believe that Lu Ming could defeat Master Tai Chi Ma. Now, seeing him dodge and dodge makes him unwilling to compete, making it even more certain that he cannot fight. Don't be fooled, let's take action. The leading middle dot aged man sneered, defeating him is equivalent to defeating Master Ma. To make a name for oneself, start by knocking him down. Everyone roared and rushed towards Lu Ming excitedly. Lu Ming's patience is limited. As a assassin in my past life, I would kill someone if I didn't agree. In this life, being able to have a few more conversations with these people is already very considerate. Since I don't appreciate it Lu Ming doesn't need to endure anymore. Just as the middle dot aged man punched, Lu Ming's right hand was as fast as lightning to block. Just caught the middle dot aged man's fist. No matter how hard middle dot aged people try, their fists cannot advance any further. Is this Tai Chi? The middle dot aged man was shocked. Lu Ming sneered, What Tai Chi? This is a martial arts created by Laozi himself. After speaking, his arms suddenly sent a strong force, swinging the middle dot aged man's fist open. Immediately afterwards, Lu Ming's fist plunged straight into the air. Bang! He forcefully hit the middle dot aged man's chest and flew him out. Since we take action, we will never show mercy. Lu Ming rushed into the crowd, his figure weaving through the crowd like a ghost. Over the past three years, Lu Ming has practiced countless times the martial arts he learned in his previous life. Thanks to the help of the system, his strength will increase slightly with each practice. Over the past three years, his current strength has surpassed that of his previous life, not to mention these illustrious traditional warriors in front of him. In less than half a minute, he knocked down all ten people to the ground. The students around were all shocked and their mouths were wide open. Especially for Lu Ming's roommates and classmates, they were so shocked that their chin was about to hit the ground. For the past three years, everyone only knows that Lu Ming is a top student. No one would have imagined that, despite his seemingly weak literary style, he was still a master of martial arts. Fan Tianlei's excited mouth couldn't even close at this moment. This trip didn't come in vain, it didn't come in vain. This kid is definitely a rare and good seedling. He chuckled at the principal and said, I'm sorry, this person, I'm going to make it. Chapter 2 One Move to Knock Out Fan Tianken, New Book for Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Looking at Fan Tianlei with a look of picking up treasure. The principal wanted to make a final struggle. Comrade Fan, Lu Ming is really a computer talent. As long as he is well trained, he will make great contributions to the country in the future. You let him go to the military. Fan Tianlei's expression instantly became serious. Principal, how can a country without a strong military have your stable learning and research? 
Do you think national defense is not important? As soon as the height was raised, the principal was speechless. Fan Tianlei chuckled and said, All right, you'll still have many good students. Let me take this away. When he arrives at the army, he will definitely become a good soldier. The principal gritted his teeth and said, Comrade Fan, I agreed, but you also need to ask Lu Ming for his opinion. He is already over the age of serving in the military, so you cannot forcibly recruit him. Fan Tianlei was stunned for a moment, but he didn't think of this question. But it doesn't matter, he believes in the attraction of special forces, which no boy can resist. Give it to me, he promises to come with me. Besides, special forces recruits are not based on age. Fan Tianlei smiled slightly and confidently walked towards Lu Ming. At this point, the security guard has arrived and carried all the injured people away. The students surrounded Lu Ming with curiosity. But the principal spoke up and asked everyone not to disturb Lu Ming. Soon, the crowd dispersed. Fan Tianlei arrived at the entrance of Lu Ming's dormitory. The door was open, and Lu Ming was surrounded by his roommates, seemingly explaining something. Fan Tianlei knocked on the door and coughed lightly, May I come in? Everyone turned their heads and when they saw a colonel officer standing at the door, all the students were stunned. Lu Ming was also stunned because he recognized Fan Tianlei. In his previous life, when he had nothing to do, Lu Ming's only way of playing time was to watch TV. As a killer, my favorite is action movies. I have also watched the Special Forces series several times. Fan Tianlei is one of the most impressive people. However, it's not a good impression. To be honest, when Lu Ming first looked at it, he thought to himself, this guy must not be an undercover agent sent by the enemy, he's just deceiving his own people. This guy's appearance now is definitely not a good thing. Fan Tianlei thought he was very handsome and took off his sunglasses. Hello Lu Ming, I am the Chief of Staff of the Special Operations Brigade of the Southeast Military Region. To put it simply, I am a Special Forces soldier. Special Forces. All the students were excited when they heard these three words. Special Forces, that's something you can only see on TV. Legend has it that they are invincible military kings who can go from heaven to earth. Everyone is a god of war. Either one is very impressive. But Lu Ming didn't react at all. To be honest, he even killed many special forces soldiers in his previous life. Here, special forces soldiers are also human, so there's nothing unusual about them. But in the eyes of Fan Tianlei, Lu Ming's attitude can only be described in two words. An expert. Only experts can remain calm in times of change. Fan Tianlei said with a slight excitement, Lu Ming, I formally invite you to join my army. I'm not interested. Lu Ming's straightforward answer. Fan Tianlei felt as if he had been slapped wide open, completely stunned on the spot. I thought that when Lu Ming heard about being invited, he would definitely happily agree. I didn't expect it to be like this. Fan Tianlei twitched his lips and said, You may not have heard me clearly. I invite you to the best special forces in the Southeast Military Region. I've said it all, I'm not interested. Lu Ming waved his hand and said, I want to pursue a master's degree and a doctoral degree in the future. I don't have time to join the military. The roommates all looked at him with shocked eyes. Special forces, hey. That's the dream of all boys. Fan Tianlei's face turned red, and he had never been rejected like this before. But the big talk has been released. If Lu Ming doesn't leave, his face will be ruined. Moreover, he couldn't bear to part with such a good seedling. Fan Tianlei said in a deep voice, Lu Ming, do you think you're really good at some kung fu? In the eyes of our special forces, your skills are just fancy punches and leg embroidery. Whatever you say. Lu Ming looked indifferent. Fan Tianlei felt like he was injured internally. This guy doesn't eat either soft or hard. He gritted his teeth and continued, let's compare. If you lose, 
you come with me. What if you lose, asked Lu Ming wearily. Then I won't bother you. Fan Tianlei said. Okay. Lu Ming stood up, he didn't want to have any entanglement with Fan Tianlei, let alone join the army. It would be great to send him away early and live a salty fish like life. Lu Ming Chong and Fan Tianlei waved and said, Come on. Fan Tianlei unbuttoned his shirt and smiled grimly, Our special forces combat is very brutal, but don't worry, I won't hit you hard, I. Before he could finish speaking, Lu Ming suddenly rushed towards him. Hurry up. Too fast. Fan Tianlei saw a fist rapidly magnifying in front of him. He couldn't hide anymore, so he instinctively formed a cross with his hands to block it. But when this punch hit him, it directly brushed against his arm and slid over. Bang! Punching heavily on Fan Tianlei's temple. Fan Tianlei's eyes darkened as he fell forward with a thud, much like when Master Ma was knocked down. All the roommates in the room opened their mouths wide and said, Done, finished. This guy is a special forces soldier. Is that all he has? Chapter 3 Disturbing the Military Region and Special Recruitment of Troops, New Book. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Fan Tianlei collapsed straight to the ground, motionless like a dead person. A student boldly went over to touch his nose. There is a pulse and breathing. The student breathed a sigh of relief and said, It's okay, I just passed out. I'll go, Lu Ming. You're too powerful, aren't you? You've knocked down all the special forces. I didn't see it before, Lu Ming. You hit it deep enough. Lu Ming, what kind of martial arts are you doing? Can you teach me self.defense when you have time? A group of roommates surrounded Lu Ming again. An envious and admiring gaze, as if looking at a certain superstar. But in Lu Ming's eyes, they were arguing like a group of flies. He just wants to make a salted fish quietly, but these masters and special forces must come and beat him up. Why is it so difficult to make a salted fish? Ding! Congratulations to the host, use Tai Chi boxing to make 20 punches. Tai Chi comprehensive strength increased by 2. Listening to the system sound in his ear, Lu Ming couldn't be happy at all. Isn't it good for you to add some money to me? I don't want to increase my strength now. The thought of just downing a disciple of Master Ma must have been recorded in a video and uploaded online. Lu Ming is even more annoying. Isn't there more people who came to challenge him later on? Isn't it even further away from his dream of being a salted fish in peace? Just as Lu Ming was sighing, the principal hurriedly walked in. He came over because he heard the commotion just now and was afraid that Fan Tianlei would make Lu Ming suffer. As soon as he entered the room and saw Fan Tianlei lying on the ground, his shocked eyes were about to burst out. Lu Ming, did you kill him? Lu Ming quickly explained with a black line on his head. The principal breathed a sigh of relief and said, Hurry up and call an ambulance. What are you all doing in a daze? The students finally realized and quickly called for an ambulance. Lu Ming. The principal looked at him with regret in his eyes and said, You are a good student. If you could stay, you would definitely have a great future. Unfortunately. Principal, I won't join the army. I will continue my studies. The principal smiled bitterly and said, If the army really wants you, you can't hide. However, you are so excellent. No matter where you go, you will shine. The principal shook his head and sighed as he left. Lu Ming looked at his back and clenched his fists tightly. No one can force me to do things that I don't want to do. Fan Tianlei is such a jerk. Who dares to come back and still waste him? Inside the general hospital of the southeast military region. Fan Tianlei lay in the hospital bed, slowly opening his eyes. My head was buzzing, as if I had been hit in the head by a hammer. You finally woke up. A stern voice came, and Fan Tianlei struggled to turn his head to look. 
The line of sight blurred for a long time before focusing on a person. Brigade, Captain. Why did you come? The newcomer is He Ji Jun, the commander of the Langya Special Operations Brigade. He is also a man with the title of Wolf Fong. He Ji Jun had a gloomy face, with a face as resolute as a blade and axe. A sharp light burst out from his eyes at this moment. Looking at Fan Tianle like a parent scrutinizing a child who has made mistakes. Can I not come? He Ji Jun said angrily, our chief of staff of the Langya Special Operations Brigade was knocked unconscious by a college student in the dormitory, and was eventually carried to the hospital and unconscious for eight hours. I've already called the headquarters, can I still not come? Fan Tianlei's face instantly turned red. If there were a crack in the ground at this moment, he wished he could jump in and never come out. You're really embarrassing. He Jijun stared at him and said, you told me to find two good soldiers, but ended up being beaten to the hospital. You have thrown the face of our Wolf Fong Special Forces Brigade from university all the way to the headquarters, you are really capable. Fan Tianle blushed and retorted, Brigadier, I can't blame me for this. He's a college student, so I let him order. I didn't expect him to launch a surprise attack. Shut up. He Jijun let out a fierce roar, and Fan Tianle was frightened and quickly shut up. Among the wolf teeth, he Jijun is the idol in everyone's heart. No matter who, they all feel awe towards him from the depths of their hearts. He Jijun looked at Fan Tianle with a disdainful expression on his face and took a deep breath. That young man named Lu Ming, I have watched his video and he is indeed a talented person. That Master Ma is just a fraud, he doesn't have much real talent and knowledge. But he defeated the disciples of Master Ma with every move being very sharp. Such talents are wasted staying in the local area. The military district has issued an order that such personnel can be specially recruited into the army. I'll leave this task to you, you go and handle it. Fan Tianlei opened his mouth in surprise and said, Me. What should I do? It's not you, is it me? He Jijun snorted coldly. You caused this thing, you must take good care of it. Now the entire military district knows. It's okay if you don't find him, but if you find him, he must join the army. He Jijun stood up and said, I tell you, people must enter the army, no matter what method you think. If you can't get in. He Jijun's eyes were sharp enough to kill. You have lost our wolf-toothed face. I will settle this debt with you properly. After He Jijun finished speaking, he left without looking back. Fan Tianlei frowned and punched the wall. Lu Ming, you bastard, you've ruined my face. Fan Tianlei clenched his fist tightly and said, You must come and join the army, I will drag you even if I drag you. Chapter 4 There is a sister named Enran, New Book for Collection. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Dong Hai City, an old residential area. Today is the weekend, and as usual, Lu Ming rushed back from school early. Taking advantage of the early morning, I went to the market to buy fresh fish and meat. Then hurriedly headed home. The reason for being so anxious is that Lu Ming's sister is coming back from school today. That's right, he also has a sister named Enron. When Lu Ming crossed over, he never dreamed that he still had a younger sister. And it's also Enron in the world of special forces. However, Enron was not born to Lu Ming's parents. Enron's parents and Lu Ming's father are good friends and both are soldiers. During a mission, all three people sacrificed themselves and never returned. At that time, Enron was only eight years old and Lu Ming was only twelve years old. In grief, Lu Ming's mother took Enran, who had no father or mother, home and adopted her as her own daughter. Since then, Enran has become Lu Ming's younger sister. Enran is very cute and has been very sensible since childhood. Both Lu Ming and his mother loved the poor child from the bottom of their hearts and never regarded her as an outsider. Two years ago, Lu Ming's mother passed away due to an illness. 
Since then, Enron has become the only relative of Lu Ming. Lu Ming also loved this sister even more, almost responding to every request. He wanted to give everything to Enron just to prevent her from joining the army. Because in the original work, Enron sacrificed himself in the army. The most despicable thing is that he even gave Lei Zhan that bastard a discount. Regardless of whether Enron dies or he fights with Lei, Lu Ming will collapse when he thinks about it. So, his ultimate goal in learning computer science and becoming an IT guru is to support Enron and make it a better place to live. Lu Ming's idea is very simple. As long as she gives Enran a happy enough life, she will definitely not join the army. Lu Ming bought some good food and ran back home all the way. He wants to cook her favorite dishes before Enron returns. Just as he opened the door, relying on the intuition developed by the assassin in his past life, Lu Ming instinctively noticed someone behind the door. He didn't want to, he just pushed the door and bumped into it. Brother, brother, it's me, don't collide. Enron hid behind the door and exclaimed in surprise. Lu Ming immediately stopped and looked in surprise at Enran, who was hiding behind the door and laughing mischievously. Why did you come back early? Enran smiled and opened her hands, directly embracing Lu Ming from the front. The two of them have been sleeping in the same bed since childhood and have seen each other's bare-bottomed appearance. Although I have grown up now, I am still as friendly as when I was a child. Brother, I missed you, so I came back early. Lu Ming felt the softness of Enran's body. Looking down, Enran, who is about to graduate from high school, is already very mature. The place it should be is not small at all. If there were outsiders around at this moment, I would think they were a couple when I saw their appearance. Lu Ming coughed lightly and said, hurry up and let go. You're still like this at such a big age, don't be afraid of being laughed at. Anran smiled and arched her head over Lu Ming's body. I don't care, no matter how old you are, you are my brother. You are my best brother. Lu Ming felt warm in his heart. He must not let anything happen to such a good sister. In this life, no matter what, he must protect safety and security. All right, I'll go cook for you. Lu Ming patted her head and said, You can't get good food while staying on campus. Today, I'll make something delicious for you. And Rant's face was full of spring breeze. I knew that my brother treated me the best. Lu Ming walked into the kitchen with vegetables in hand. As a single parent family, Lu Ming has been helping his mother with household chores since childhood and has developed a good culinary skills. When Lu Ming crossed over, he naturally integrated everything and inherited the craftsmanship of the original Lu Ming. After a while, Lu Ming quickly packed all the dishes and set them aside. Put the pork belly into the pot and stir fry it back and forth in brown sugar, quickly emitting a fragrant aroma. And Ran watched TV outside for a while, then suddenly walked to the kitchen and stood against the wall. Lu Ming glanced at her and said, There's a lot of oil smoke here. You go out, I'll call you when the food is ready. Anran looked at Lu Ming's back, her eyes filled with heartache. Brother, let me discuss something with you. Speak up. Lu Ming didn't turn his head back. I want to volunteer for the college entrance examination and register for a military academy. Bang! The spatula in Lu Ming's hand fell directly onto the ground. Soy sauce splattered everywhere. No way! Lu Ming suddenly turned his head and said, You can attend any school, but you're not allowed to attend military academies. Brother. And Ran pouted, My parents, and your father, they are all soldiers. They are them, they are already dead, I don't want you to die again. Lu Ming roared, This matter cannot be discussed. And Ran's eye circles instantly turned red. Tears slowly slid down the corners of the eyes. Lu Ming panicked immediately. She hugged and ran and said, don't cry, don't cry. If you have something to say, don't cry. Brother doesn't let you join the army for your own good. It's too dangerous to join the army. As a girl, who will take care of you? 
I don't have any relatives anymore, I can't lose you anymore. Listen to my brother, don't become a soldier. Just then, the door was suddenly knocked on. Lu Ming and An Ran turned their heads together to look. I saw a mischievous guy poking his head inside the door. As soon as he saw Lu Ming, the person immediately laughed and said, Lu Ming, your family is really hard to find. Do you remember me? It was the special forces soldier you knocked out, and I came to enlist with you again. Lu Ming looked at Fan Tianlei, who was smiling all over his face, and couldn't help but feel angry. Be like your mother, get out of here. P.S. New book release, kneeling down to seek support from flower review tickets and monthly tickets. Chapter 5 Unusual Promotion, New Book Seeking Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Fan Tianlei was scolded as soon as he entered the door, and his smile instantly froze on his face. How do you speak? Chen Shanming, who followed Fan Tianlei, angrily shouted, This is our chief of staff, pay attention to your tone of voice. Shanming Fan Tianlei glared at Chen Shanming. He came to invite Lu Ming to join the army. If he angers Lu Ming, how can he go back and join the army? The thought of He Jijun's murderous gaze made Fan Tianlei's legs tremble for no reason. Brother, who are they? An Ran asked curiously in a low voice. No one is a defeated general under his command. Lu Ming said irritably. He finally calmed down and ran. As a result, Fan Tianlei came to his door at this moment and immediately called him to join the army. Isn't this a deliberate act of wrongdoing? Lu Ming pointed at Fan Tianlei and said, Get out of here quickly. My house doesn't welcome you. Fan Tianlei's lungs were almost bursting with anger at the moment. Losing to Lu Ming was a lifelong shame for him. If it weren't for He Jijun forcing him to come, he would never have wanted to see Lu Ming for his whole life. But for the sake of the overall situation, Fan Tianlei stubbornly suppressed his anger, a faint smile came from his old face. Lu Ming, this time I have officially received orders from my superiors to invite you to join the army. The door of the army has been opened for you, and your superiors have instructed you to make an exception for promotion. That is to say, when you enter the army, you don't have to start with private soldiers, you're just an officer. Fan Tianlei chuckled and said, it's rare for the army to promote local youth like this. This is a once.in.a.lifetime opportunity. Others can't even break their heads and get into the army, let alone become officers. You must cherish such a good opportunity now. Upon hearing these words, and ran excitedly hugged Lu Ming's neck. Brother, is this true? Great, congratulations. You can join the army now. Lu Ming frowned slightly, he didn't expect the troops to spend so much money. Surprisingly, he was promoted to become a military officer out of the ordinary. Dashia Kingdom advocates military force, and becoming a soldier is an honor for ordinary young people. Lu Ming doesn't want to join the army, mainly because he doesn't want to start as a soldier. But if he could become an officer now, he would be a bit tempted. He is a systematic person now, and he hasn't made it to the military yet. Compared to slowly fighting in the local area, with his current strength, going to the army has a more promising future. Although he was tempted, he glanced at Anran and hesitated again. Just such a cute and beautiful girl, she's leaving on her own. What should she do? If she goes to the military behind her back and ends up being mistreated, no, no, absolutely no. Lu Ming shook his head vigorously. I won't go. Lu Ming said coldly, I'm just a little officer. What's there to be happy about? It's not that I'm supposed to become a general. I won't go. Hey. Chen Shanming pointed at him angrily, are you ignorant and disrespectful? The troops only let you go because they look up to you. Others don't even have the chance to break their heads. Lu Ming snorted coldly, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Whoever wants to go, I won't go anyway. Chen Shanming roared angrily, chief of staff, this kid is shameless. If he doesn't go down, 
let's go. Fan Tianle cursed and left you paralyzed in his heart. If we don't get this kid back, I won't be able to go back either. He suppressed the volcano that had already erupted in his heart and waved his hand to signal Chen Shanming to be quiet. Fan Tianlei looked at Lu Ming like a kind old lady. Lu Ming, it was me who did the wrong thing before. You have a large amount, don't argue with me. Fan Tianlei lowered his face and said, your father is a martyr. As the son of a hero, you should go to the army to develop. So, can you tell me exactly how to get to the army? No matter what you ask, I will agree to everything. Chen Shanming opened his mouth in disbelief. Fan Tianlei is usually bossing around, why has he suddenly become so timid today? He didn't know that if Fan Tianlei didn't take the person back. He Jijun will definitely slap his big mouth. When Lu Ming saw Fan Tianlei's pitiful appearance, he felt similar. He said indifferently, it's not impossible to go to the army. As you said, my father is a martyr, so I should also join the army to fulfill his last wish. Fan Tianlei nodded like a pug and said, that's right, that's right. However, Lu Ming looked at and ran and said, I want to take her with me. She must join my army. What? Fan Tianlei's eyes were almost bulging out. Even if I get you in, do you really want to bring one? And Lu Ming said, she must also be promoted to officer. Fan Tianlei clenched his fist in anger. Thinking that you were the one who led the army. Just bring someone in, you really want to get a promotion. Do you think you are buying groceries at the market? Seeing him not speaking, Lu Ming snorted coldly, can't we do it? If we can't do it, we'll get out of here. We don't have time to entertain you. I can do it, I can do it. Fan Tianlei shouted anxiously, no problem, your sister can also come in together and be promoted. Chen Shanming hurriedly whispered, Chief of Staff, you're crazy. How dare you agree to anything? Is promotion a small matter? How can you make her mention it? Fan Tianlei twitched at the corner of his mouth and said, Give this girl the promotion quota for our trip this year. Damn it, I'll call him tough. Chapter 6 Wolf Fong is too weak, I won't go. New book. You are listening at novelfull.audio. As long as Lu Ming agrees to join the army, Fan Tianlei can go back and hand over the mission. Even if you feel a little wrong today, it's worth it. As for the injustice I suffered today. Humph. Fan Tianlei has already figured it out. When he goes to the army, there will be plenty of opportunities to settle the accounts with Lu Ming. Becoming a soldier, Fan Tianlei can use various means to manipulate him. Call you crazy. When the time comes, I will make you cry, every day no response, and, the earth is not working. Fan Tianlei suppressed the urge to vomit blood and said, I'll handle the procedures. You too, pack up and come with me these days. Lu Ming coughed and said, I agreed to join the army, but I didn't say I would go with you. Hmm. Fan Tianlei gave a sharp twitch at the corner of his mouth. What, what does it mean? Lu Ming looked at him seriously and said, Since you're so stupid, then I'll explain it clearly. Where's your unit? I won't go. The reason is simple. You're too weak, your unit must be very weak, I can't go to a weak unit. Fan Tianlei's eyes were filled with flames as he listened. Chen Shanming roared in anger, Kid, what are you talking about? We are the Special Operations Brigade of the Southeast Military Region, the most powerful unit in the entire military region. How dare you say we are weak? Lu Ming shrugged and said, Actually, he's very weak. Can you ask him if he was knocked down by my punch? He didn't even touch me. Enough. Fan Tianlei roared angrily. We can't keep talking anymore. He is already embarrassing enough. Every time Lu Ming said it, it was like uncovering his scar. If this kid goes to Wolf Fong and talks nonsense, will his face still be okay? 
how will I continue to be the chief of staff in the future? No, this kid must get out of here. As for fucking him. As long as he is in any unit of the Southeast Military Region, there will be opportunities in the future. Moreover, he Jijun only said to let him join the army, and did not insist on letting him go to Langya. Fan Tianlei stared at him and said, Where do you want to go? Lu Ming touched his chin and said, Of course I want to go to a good army. You go back and ask your leader. As long as it's not your army and has a long tradition, I'll go to such an army. Lu Ming's tone was like treating Fan Tianlei as a runner. If it weren't for the need to coax Lu Ming into the army, Fan Tianlei would definitely turn his back now. Okay, okay, I'll report back as soon as I go back. Fan Tianlei forced out a smile and said, You two are ready to prepare, and I'll give you news soon. Lu Ming did not keep him. Or to put it simply, they were kicked out. Fan Tianlei and Chen Shanming got into the car and finally couldn't help but burst out. Damn it, damn it. Fan Tianlei slapped the car seat and said, Son of a bitch, treat me as a staff officer running errands. I'm not finished with you, kid. Chen Shanming said indignantly, Golden Eagle, you shouldn't have gotten used to him just now. You really should have gone up and smoked him. What's the rush? Fan Tianlei snorted coldly, let him join the army first, there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. As long as he is in the southeast military region, it will not be easy to punish him. Go back first, finish the task before we talk. Fan Tianlei returned to Langya and reported the situation in detail to He Jijun. Waste, what do you do as chief of staff? A college student, you can't even get a damn job. He Jijun roared. Fan Tianlei frowned and said, Brigadier, that kid just wouldn't want to come to us. I have no choice but to do so. Otherwise, he wouldn't have come. He Jijun clenched his fist in anger. Lu Ming cannot refuse to come to the army. If he is outside, he will lose his face even more. At least with the arrival of the troops, the previous events can still be diluted. You go back first, I'll handle this matter. He Jijun waved his hand. Fan Tianlei didn't dare to say much, he bowed and left. When he left, He Jijun immediately called the deputy commander of the military region, Wang Changlin. Deputy commander, this Lu Ming is a bit out of place. The troops still have to choose on their own, aren't they too used to him? Wang Changlin chuckled and said, our military district owes him an explanation. His father sacrificed his life back then, and because of confidentiality, we haven't given them much care. Now, it's time for us to repay. Otherwise, even the spirit of the martyrs in heaven would be uneasy. He Jijun sighed, knowing more or less about Lu Ming's father. That mission back then was top secret. Even if a person dies, it must always be kept confidential. The treatment that Lu Ming should have enjoyed has never been received in these years. This military district's exceptional promotion is not only because Lu Ming exposed the identity of a master. More importantly, it's actually due to his father's reasons. Taking care of the children of martyrs is a tradition in the military. Where did you arrange for him to go? He Jijun asked. Wang Changlin thought for a moment and finally said, let him go to the Night Tiger Investigation Company. That's where Lu Ming's father used to stay. Xiao Miao, who was also his former subordinate. Let him go to the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company, it's the best choice. He Jijun nodded and said, that's a good idea. Then I'll have someone handle it. Hanging up the phone, a cold smile appeared at the corner of He Jijun's mouth. He doesn't think Lu Ming is a good seedling, at most he's just a prick. Even if the special forces don't come, what can we expect from the troops? The Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company is the place where your old man has stayed. Go there, don't embarrass your old man. He Jijun snorted coldly. In his opinion, Lu Ming and his deceased father were too far apart. Three days later, the Southeast Military Region sent a letter to the schools of Lu Ming and Enran. 
the army specially recruited two people to join the army. Lu Ming was awarded the rank of lieutenant and An Ran was awarded the rank of second lieutenant. Due to special circumstances, the two can temporarily leave the military academy and directly join the platoon. While serving, receiving training. Another day passed, and both Lu Ming and An Ran received their enlistment notices. The destination they went to was prominently written as the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Lu Ming was slightly taken aback. Apart from watching TV dramas, he had an impression of this place. At its core, there is still a different kind of familiarity. Chapter 7 He is a related account, right? New Book 7 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lu Ming closed the enlistment notice and couldn't help but raise the corner of his mouth slightly. When watching Special Forces TV dramas in his past life, Lu Ming had an inexplicable fondness for the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Because from the bottom of his heart, Lu Ming believed that the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company had a more military feel than the Wolf Fong Special Forces. And, for some reason, he had an inexplicable fondness for the Night Tiger Scout. He didn't know that the Night Tiger Investigation Company had a great connection with him. Anren looked at the cheerful expression on Lu Ming's face and thought to herself, Stinky brother, you said you don't want to join the army. This happiness is all written on your face. Lu Ming saw Anran with a mischievous smile on her face and gently scraped her nose with his hand. What are you waiting for? Go collect the things. Yes, chief. Anran straightened his chest and saluted, then quickly ran back to the room. That night, Lu Ming and An Ran came to the rooftop, looking at the stars while recalling the interesting things that happened when they were children. The two of them knew that after tonight, they were no longer ordinary people. The next morning, the army's car appeared downstairs on time. Lu Ming and An Ran, with different moods, boarded the car heading to the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Lu Ming took a final glance at his home, which he had lived in for three years. Goodbye, old buddy. When I come back, I must be a general. Since joining the army, Lu Ming naturally wants to do his best. General, it's his goal. On the other side, Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Miao Yen stayed up all night last night. Just as the genius was about to break, he couldn't wait to bring someone to the gate to wait. No one knows why Miao Yen is so excited. No one dares to ask, Miao Yen's temper, if he doesn't say it, it's better not to ask. Miao Yen kept stepping on his feet to gaze. For many years, he has been wanting to see that child named Lu Ming. If it weren't for discipline not allowing the leakage of military secrets, he would have gone long ago. His heart was filled with guilt. Because Lu Ming is none other than the son of his old platoon leader. Miao Yen's abilities are all thanks to the old platoon leader. For Miao Yen, the old platoon leader is his elder brother, even his father. Without the old platoon leader, there would be no him today. The most glorious moment of the Night Tiger was also created by the old platoon leader himself. The last mission, Miao Yen has always been deeply resentful. If it weren't for his injuries, he should have fought alongside the old platoon leader. He felt guilty from the bottom of his heart. Now his son is coming to the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company, and Miao Yen believes it is fate. Inheriting his father's legacy, Lu Ming came to continue writing about the glory of the old platoon leader. Kid, I believe you can do it. You can defeat Master Tai Chi at a young age, just like your father did back then. Miao Yen took a deep breath and said, Old platoon leader, with a son like this, you can rest in peace with the spirit in heaven. Miao Yen, the people are here. Miao Yen heard the sound and looked forward excitedly. I saw a military vehicle speeding towards me. Miao Yen instinctively adjusted his military uniform, restrained his inner excitement, and welcomed him forward. The car door opened and Lu Ming jumped out of the car first. Miao Yen reached out his hand, but Lu Ming looked and then stood directly to the side. Miao Yen smiled bitterly and withdrew his hand. 
he looks so bad, just like his old man did back then. In front of Lu Ming, although not very old, the aura emanating from his body was even stronger than that of the old platoon leader back then. New recruits Lu Ming and Enran, come and report. Lu Ming and Enran came to Miao Lian and paid a standard military salute. They are a military family, although their parents died early. But I still understand the etiquette of soldiers. Okay, okay, okay. Miao Lian excitedly said hello three times in a row. Chen Guotao on the side couldn't bear to watch anymore. He had never seen Miao Lian treat new recruits so politely before. What's wrong with Miao Lian today? Chen Guotao coughed and said coldly, Lu Ming, Enron, this is the Miao platoon leader of our Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. I am Chen Guotao, the platoon leader of the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. You can call me Chen Platoon in the future. Lu Ming looked up and down at Chen Guotao. When he saw special forces in his past life, Lu Ming had a fondness for him. If it weren't for regretfully leaving the army due to having ankylosing spondylitis, Lu Ming believed he would have walked a long way. However, the scrutinizing gaze of Lu Ming made Chen Guotao very unhappy. New recruit Egg, just arrived so arrogant, he's a prick that needs to be repaired properly. Miao Yen laughed heartily at this moment and said, Welcome both of you, especially Xiaolu. You are now a celebrity. Your skills will definitely have great prospects in the army. Lu Ming humbly said, In the future, we still need the company commander to take care of us. Miao Yen patted his chest and said, No problem. If you have any needs in the future, just let me know and I will try my best to satisfy them. Lu Ming was slightly surprised. In the TV series, Miao Yen is a serious person. I didn't expect to be so kind and amiable when we met. Don't say he was surprised, Chen Guotao and others were even more surprised. When has Miao Yen been so easy to talk to them? Everyone looked at Lu Ming with envy in their eyes for a moment. Miao Lian didn't say anything and took them directly to visit the camp. When Lu Ming and Enran arrived at the training ground, the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company had already assembled. Report to the platoon leader, the entire platoon has gathered, please instruct. A platoon leader reports loudly. Miao Lian nodded and said, take a break. Comrades, let me introduce you. This new comrade's name is Lu Ming, and from today on, he will be your deputy company commander. Deputy platoon leader. The whole team was in an uproar. Zhuang Yen squinted his eyes and said coldly, this guy looks even smaller than me. First of all, he's the deputy platoon leader. Why is he? Zheng Sanpao snorted coldly, I see, it's probably related households. Lu Ming also felt everyone's aversion. He has a feeling that next, everyone will not make him feel better. Chapter 8 Unforgettable Revenge, New Book 8 Gung Chiu. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Miao Lian will introduce Lu Ming and Enran. Lu Ming is the deputy company commander, and Enran is the company commander's confidential document. The deputy platoon leader and confidential documents have just arrived at the unit. If there is any need, you platoon leaders and squad leaders must help them a lot. Do you understand? The platoon leaders shouted weakly, yes. Dissolve. Miao Yen's tone was beyond doubt, and as he looked at Lu Ming, he regained his amiable smile. Xiao Lu, let's go. I'll take you on a tour of our campsite. After Miao Yen left, everyone was fried. Chen Shihua pursed her lips and said, This kid looks younger than me, why did he suddenly parachute into the position of deputy platoon leader? Zheng Sanpao sighed and said, Let's go through the back door. It's really frustrating to compare people to others. If we don't accept it, let's just accept our fate honestly. Fu. Zhuang Yen sneered, We night tigers always rely on our strength to speak. Unless he has strength, Zhuang Yen will definitely not accept us. The second-class monitor nodded and said, I'm standing on the side of Xiao Zhuang. 
If this new kid's strength is not good, let's see who dares him. Chen Guotao walked over and said coldly, We are the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company, a unit that can rank high in the army. Not every cat or dog can be airborne to become a deputy company commander. If he can't do it, no matter who the backdoor is, as long as we unite, we can make him go. Everyone nodded silently and quickly reached an agreement. Miao Lian personally accompanied Lu Ming and then ran on a full day's tour, and after dinner, he brought the two of them to the dormitory. Miao Lian arranged single rooms for Lu Ming and then ran, where they can be used for personal grooming. Lu Ming is the deputy company commander, so arranging a single room is not excessive. And Enron, as the first female soldier in the company, was naturally assigned a separate room. Xiao Lu, Xiaowen, you have just joined the army and are definitely not used to it. However, I believe that you will be able to adapt to the life in the army as soon as possible. Children of martyrs, this small issue will not be difficult for you. Yes, platoon leader. The two saluted together. All right, rest early. I'll go back first. Miao Lian patted Lu Ming's shoulder with a kind expression on his face, then turned around and left. Lu Ming looked at Enran and said, Since you have chosen to come, let's work hard. Enran nodded heavily and said, Don't worry, brother. I will become a good soldier. Brother believes in you. After Enran left, Lu Ming looked at the simple supporting facilities in the room and sighed. To become a general, one must be down dot to dot earth step by step. Here, let's consider it his starting point. Lu Ming lay cross-legged on the bed and said, First, stand firm here, then make achievements and become a general. Hmm, that's it. Lu Ming's mind is fantasizing about a beautiful future. Just then, a knock on the door suddenly rang out. Isn't this little girl afraid to sleep alone? Lu Ming opened the door, not and ran. Miao Lian stood outside the door with a solemn expression, holding a box. Miao Lian, what's up so late? Miao Lian nodded and said, go in and talk. Closing the door, Miao Lian looked at Lu Ming with a serious expression and said, Xiao Lu, I have something to tell you. Seeing Miao Lian so serious, Lu Ming couldn't help but become more serious. Miao Lian lowered his head to look at the box, Xiao Lu, your father Lu Feng used to be the platoon leader of our Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company. Upon hearing this, Lu Ming was extremely shocked and also suddenly realized. No wonder he has an inexplicable sense of familiarity towards this place. Originally, this was the place where his father had stayed, but he was young before, so he forgot. Miao Lian cleared one hand and gently stroked the box, then handed it to Lu Ming with both hands. What's inside here are your father's relics. Now, I officially hand them over to you. For so many years, I have always wanted to give them to you. But because your father sacrificed himself in a top-secret mission, in order to protect your safety and prevent enemy retaliation, I can only. Lu Ming took the box and carefully opened it. Inside are clean and tidy military uniforms. A row of prominent military merit medals on his military uniform bears witness to the glory of his father, Lu Feng. Miao Lian took a deep breath and exclaimed with great emotion, Your father is a great soldier and a worthy hero. I don't know why you came here, maybe it was fate's arrangement. Maybe it was your father guiding you in the dark. But since you're here, I hope you can become a good soldier like your father. You Lu family are all iron-blooded sons, not a coward. The most important thing is to avenge him. Miao Lian gritted his teeth and said, I don't have the ability anymore, but I believe. One day, you will kill that bastard. A cold chill flashed in Lu Ming's eyes and he said, My father. Was he killed? Throughout, Lu Ming had no idea how his father died. My mother just told him that it was a sacrifice made during the mission. But he never knew exactly how to sacrifice. Miao Lian nodded and said, Your father was shot through the chest by someone. And that person is still at large. I really want revenge, but our reconnaissance company is not qualified to go. 
Only by becoming a special forces soldier can one be qualified. However, it seems that Wolf Fong has had a fight with that guy and there has been no follow dot up so far. Lu Ming clenched his fist tightly. Originally, he simply thought of the military to promote and become wealthy. Unexpectedly, I found out the truth about my father's death. The revenge of killing one's father is unforgettable. Lu Ming asked coldly, Miao Yen. Can you tell me who killed my father? P.S. The eighth update of the new book. Kneeling down for the support of a wave of flower evaluation tickets and monthly tickets. Chapter 9 One Punch Overturns Shuang Yen You are listening at NovelFull.audio Upon hearing Lu Ming's question, Miao Yen was stunned. Which bastard killed my dad? Miao Yen, please tell me, said Lu Ming with raging anger in his eyes. Miao Yen sighed and said, Your father is on a top secret mission, only the special forces and senior management know. I have already told you everything I know, and the rest. I have no right to know. Lu Ming was somewhat disappointed as he knew that Miao Yen had not deceived him. Although he came through time travel, he inherited all the emotions of this body. The pain of this body was felt by Lu Ming. Who dares to kill his father? Lu Ming must kill that bastard. Miao Yen patted Lu Ming and said, Xiao Lu, it's actually very easy to know all of this. As long as you become the best soldier, on that day, you will have the right to go to the military district and ask the commander. Be the best soldier. Lu Ming clenched his fist. Before he was strong enough, even if he was specially recruited into the army, he was still nothing. Miao Yen left without saying much. In fact, if he wanted to say more, he didn't know more. That night, Lu Ming's thoughts underwent a huge change. Since I have traveled through your body, I will definitely help your father seek revenge, which can be considered as an explanation for you. Lu Ming put away his belongings and took a deep breath, saying, Becoming the king of war is not very difficult, is it? The next day, before dawn, the training ground was already echoing with a dull, bang bang, sound. Lu Ming took off his shirt and punched the sandbag one after another. Sweat rained down like raindrops, and a wisp of hot air emanated from his head. Shaolin Changquan's strength increased by one. Wudang Fist's strength increased by one. The system beeped continuously, and Lu Ming broke three sandbags one after another. At this moment, the gathering whistle sounded, and it was time for morning exercise training. The soldiers quickly arrived at the training ground. Oh my goodness, our deputy platoon leader got up so early, it's too hard, isn't it? Chen Shiwa opened her mouth wide. The second squad leader mocked, the new recruits have just joined the army, and they still want to merge with us veterans. Unfortunately, the army only values strength, and without strength, it's nothing. I think he's just pretending, Zhuang Yen said with a disdainful expression. He just wants us to identify with him, dreaming. At that moment, Lu Ming put away his fist and suddenly turned around to walk towards them. Hello Deputy Company Leader. Chen Shiwa and others quickly straightened their backs. With a cold expression on his face, Lu Ming pointed to Zhuang Yen and the second squad leader and said, prepare for a fight. Fighting. Everyone looked bewildered. Zhuang Yen and the second class monitor exchanged a glance, both looking bewildered. If you don't move, then I'll move. Who? Just as he finished speaking, Lu Ming moved. Hurry up. Very fast. Lu Ming's fist made a piercing sound in the wind. The simple Shaolin long fist has produced earth-shattering effects. Class monitor was confused and instinctively formed a cross-shaped block with both hands. Bang! The second class leader felt his arm almost break, and a huge force surged towards his entire body. The whole person flew out as if hit by a car. Boom! The second class monitor flew two meters directly and fell heavily on his back to the ground. Lu Ming didn't stop. With the force of the impact, 
he swung his backhand five fingers into a hand knife toward Chuang Yen. Chuang Yen was stunned. He never expected this new guy to be so fierce. A faint sound of breaking through the air echoed in my ears. Chuang Yen could already feel the power of this blow. He knew he couldn't dodge and decided to block with his left hand. Take a step back at the same time, then counterattack with your right hand. Chuang Yen confidently believes that this is the best solution. The idea is good, but the reality is cruel. Lu Ming was blocked, but his wrist inexplicably curved and swept directly onto Zhuang Yan's face. It seemed like a gentle scrape, but Zhuang Yan turned 360 degrees in place. Bang! Zhuang Yan sat down on the ground in a daze. Shocking! Unbreakable shock! Everyone was dumbfounded by Lu Ming's skills. Am I pretending? Lu Ming roared. Everyone fell silent. No one expected that class leader Tu and Zhuang Yen would be defeated so easily. The second squad leader and Zhuang Yen are exemplary fighters in the entire company. Especially Zhuang Yen, who defeated Jing Sanpao right after enlisting, is definitely a formidable character. Facing Lu Ming, the two of them couldn't even resist a single move. Lu Ming is really too strong, such a person doesn't need to pretend at all. Lu Ming's cold gaze scanned everyone and said, I got up so early to train, I just want to become stronger. When war or missions come, one should not easily die in the hands of the enemy. Do you understand? Everyone nodded blankly and said, I understand. How much do you know? After finishing speaking, Lu Ming turned around and left. Everyone was stunned on the spot, not even the platoon leaders knew what to do. How about it, is the new deputy platoon leader impressive? Everyone turned their heads, it was Miao Yen. Amazing. Everyone answered in unison. Of course it's impressive, Miao Yen smiled and said, Lu Ming is a martial arts master, even the ancient martial arts master was defeated by his one move. Upon hearing Miao Yen's words, everyone was shocked. Chen Shihua scratched her head and said, I just said, how could our deputy platoon leader possibly use the back door? If we had known so much, we wouldn't have provoked him. Miao Yen looked at Zhuang Yen and said, Are you satisfied? I'm not convinced. Zhuang Yen straightened his chest and said, Our Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company, apart from myself, nobody is convinced. Besides, I was not prepared just now, otherwise he would definitely not get any advantage. Miao Yen smiled and looked at Lu Ming's back, saying, training is coming soon. If you don't agree, then show your true abilities and compete. Playing tricks is not feasible for tigers at night. P.S. A new month, a new beginning, kneeling down for the support of flower evaluation tickets and monthly tickets. Chapter 10 Running Out of a Company You are listening at NovelFull.audio Watching the landing sound, sweating profusely onto the runway. Everyone in the Night Tiger Reconnaissance Squad immediately looked at each other with ill intentions in their eyes. What if you're a martial arts expert? The Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company is a reconnaissance unit, and fighting is only a part of measuring a soldier's ability. To convince everyone, one must be strong in all aspects. Miao Yen scanned the crowd and saw the fighting intent in their eyes. His mouth curved slightly upwards and he said, What are you all doing in a daze? Are you really scared of being beaten by the deputy platoon leader? Are you scared? Zhuang Yen said defiantly, Miao Yen, you underestimate us too much. Then go up and run. Miao Yen snorted coldly, Don't let me and the deputy commander underestimate you. At this moment, Chen Guotao said coldly, don't you all look down on the deputy company commander and think he's nothing. Then go up, for the honor of the Night Tiger Investigation Company and for your dignity, run him down. Zhuang Yan and the second class leader rolled up their sleeves and rushed onto the runway without hesitation. They were defeated in the fight. But physical fitness they are not afraid of this new recruit egg. The Night Tiger Reconnaissance Company may not be as trained as the special forces. 
but physical training also makes ordinary troops feel scared. People who have not received strict training want to compare their physical fitness with this group of scouts. That's no different from seeking abuse. The entire platoon rushed onto the runway, with everyone closely following behind Lu Ming. They do not surpass or fall behind. Just stubbornly following behind Lu Ming. They run as fast as Lu Ming runs. It is clear that it is a waste of time with Lu Ming. Lao Miao, isn't this kind of competition bad? The instructor hesitated and asked, Xiao Lu has just arrived. Aren't you trying to trick him? Don't underestimate Xiao Lu. Miao Lian smiled slightly and said, He is a child of a martyr, and he is also a true martial arts master. It makes sense for the military district to specially recruit him. Exactly, let me see how strong he is. The instructor asked in surprise, Do you really think his physical fitness is better than our soldiers? Miao Yen shook his head and said, I don't know, but I can see from this kid's eyes. As long as he believes in something, he will definitely not give up. Let's take a gamble. Miao Yen said, He can definitely persist for 20 kilometers. Okay. The instructor nodded and said, If he can run 20 kilometers, I'll treat him to this month's meal. It's a deal. The two were making a bet when An Ran walked over. Miao Lian Lima said, Xiao An, you don't need to participate in the training. An Ran looked at Lu Ming's running figure from afar, and a smile suddenly appeared at the corner of his mouth. Captain, my parents are also martyrs. They are also good soldiers. After speaking, he rushed towards the runway without looking back. Miao Lian and the instructor were both stunned. This girl is so stubborn, the instructor sighed. Miao Lian's face showed a smile and he said, I've been with Xiao Lu for a long time, and even a little girl has become so amazing. Not bad, really good. An Ran rushed to Lu Ming's side and the two of them looked at each other with a smile. They didn't say anything and ran forward with their heads down. The speed is well controlled by Lu Ming. Circle it. Two laps. Three laps. Fifteen laps. At this point, six kilometers have already been run, and Lu Ming and An Ran are still at the forefront. Behind them, the team has been stretched. They even surpassed some soldiers by a full circle. But Zhuang Yan and others still closely followed them. At this moment, everyone began to pant. Sixteen laps. Seventeen laps. Twenty laps. And Rant's face had turned extremely pale, panting heavily with her mouth wide open. Zhuang Yan and others also breathed a lot more, and more people fell behind. Is it okay? Lu Ming looked at and ran. An Ran nodded forcefully and said, I, I, I can do it. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, hold on to me. I will never embarrass you. Okay. Lu Ming didn't say much. The road to becoming a soldier is full of obstacles. Even if there is a system, he still needs to complete it step by step. Moreover, Enron has not received any system assistance yet. Ding, after running two kilometers, increase your stamina by one. Ding, after running three kilometers, increase your stamina by one. The sound of the system kept echoing in Lu Ming's ears. As physical fitness improves. He needs to complete more if he wants to give it another physical boost. Fortunately, with each increase in physical strength, Lu Ming's body can recover a lot. As long as he perseveres, it will be enough for him to last until the next time he improves his stamina. 30 laps 35 laps 40 laps and Ran finally couldn't do it, even if Lu Ming dragged her running, her legs were difficult to move. Lu Ming nodded at her and let her go. And Ran's ability to run so far is thanks to exercising with Lu Ming on a regular basis. If it were an ordinary person, I'm afraid 5 laps would be useless. Lu Ming continued to run forward and slowly accelerated. Oh my goodness, can he still accelerate? Zhuang Yan almost knelt down in despair. Zheng Sanpao stumbled and turned pale. Come on, come on, 
we can't lose in terms of physical fitness. Otherwise. Before he could finish speaking, his feet softened and he fell to the ground with a thud. At this moment, only Qin Guotao and Zhuang Yan remained with Lu Ming. The others have long been run down by Lu Ming. Their figures were everywhere around the playground. Finally, in the 50th lap, Zhuang Yan and Qin Guotao were also run down. The two lay on the ground, feeling weak all over, wishing to take off their heads and catch their breath. Miao Yan looked at the instructor with a smile and said, I won. You'll take care of next month's meal. The instructor never heard him speak at all. He pointed at the playground in shock and said, This kid, he's still accelerating. Miao Yan turned his head in shock. Sure enough, after running 50 laps, Lu Ming actually accelerated again. My goodness. Miao Yan opened his mouth wide. This kid's physical ability is abnormal. 